and welcome to the International Newsroom. I'm Maria Mullen, and tonight we take a closer look at the media landscape and level of press freedom in Croatia, an Eastern European country off the coast of the Adriatic Sea, known to most as a nation filled with glittering waters and picture-perfect coastal towns. But first, here are a couple of fun facts and background on the nation before we dig in on the nitty-gritty. Croatia is home to more than 1,200 islands, isles, and inlets to cruise around, making the country a popular tourist destination. Historically, and partially due to its natural resources and beauty, the country has been exceptionally wealthy. But despite tourist revenue, the country's economy recently experienced a slowdown in 2008, which included a surge in the unemployment rate and uneven regional development. The nation still has not been able to make a full recovery. In Croatia, television is a dominant medium for media access. However, online media usage is on the rise, and since the government in Croatia does not restrict internet access, a strong 69% of the population takes advantage of this access. That being said, while the government does not restrict internet access, and Croatia's constitution does recognize freedom of the press and the right to information, The government encroaches upon these rights and the level of press freedom in several ways, including the state's toleration of the harassment of journalists. Reporters Without Borders wrote an article in April of 2016 about a Croatian culture minister lecturing a journalist who had recently fallen victim to a physical attack about the importance of responsibility for words spoken or written in public, quote unquote. A couple of examples of legal sanctions that limit press freedom in Croatia includes up to a five-year sentence for hate speech and a three-year sentence for insulting the republic in any way, such as stomping on the flag. Factors such as these are included in Freedom House's 2015 report, earning Croatia a press status of partly free with a freedom score of 40. Now that we have a brief background on the country, let's discuss the media landscape. There is a state-owned public broadcaster, Croatia Radio Television, that is viewed by many, but many media outlets are local and controlled by banks and advertisers. Others are partially owned by local governments. Both of these seriously jeopardize the objectivity of reports, and as a result, the standards for the profession of journalism in Croatia are especially low. While media ownership affects the outcome of reports in a big way, cultural aspects play a large role as well. Professor Geert Hofstad developed a cultural dimension study on several countries, including Croatia, to give us a little bit more insight into the cultural expectations and norms before visiting. He finds that Croatia scores high on the power distance scale and asserts that hierarchy is very important in the nation. The country also maintains a society that is more collectivist than individualist, and in tune with this collectivist society, it is also much more feminine and is a more restrained country with less emphasis on indulgence than other countries. It scored a 58 on the scale for long-term orientation, showing that government officials as well as citizens practice pragmatism and is scored very high on the uncertainty avoidance scale with 80 points, indicating an emotional need for rules. This cultural aspect might aid in explaining the infringement upon press freedom in the country, but according to international standards for press freedom, it does not qualify as an excuse for limiting speech and freedom of expression. Croatia has a very long way to go to recover from its recession, and along the way, legislation that criminalizes defamation and any type of humiliating speech should be eliminated. In the meantime, citizens can enjoy those glittering waters and work towards a brighter future. Thank you all, and good night.